Cover Jones. You may be wondering, who is this Mary Cover Jones? Well, I'll begin explaining who she was with some brief background information. She was born on September 1st, 1896 in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. She received her PhD and master's from Columbia University. She went to undergraduate school in Vassar College and graduated in 1919. That same year, she attended a lecture that was being given by John B. Watson, a behavioral psychologist. In this lecture, he described his most well-known experiment, the Little Albert Experiment. The purpose was to demonstrate conditioning of fear into an infant using a stimulus. His experiment can be described in three stages. During the first stage, little Albert was presented with a rat and other furry animals. No reaction, no crying, just curiosity. During the second stage, a stimulus was used. The stimulus was a loud noise produced by hitting a hammer against a steel bar behind little Albert. During the third stage, little Albert had associated the rat and the fear brought by the loud noise together. Thus, he became afraid of all things with fur. This ties to Mary Jones because she later performed a sequel to Watson's experiment. Hers was all about counter-conditioning fear in an infant. During the first stage, a rabbit was presented to Peter. He was afraid of rabbits and would cry. During the second stage, a positive stimulus was used. The stimulus was candy. The candy and the rabbit were placed at the same distance from little Peter and were gradually placed closer to him. During the third stage, little Peter was able to tolerate the rabbit and play with it. He made an association between the rabbit and something he liked, candy. This experiment led to more studies about behavioral therapy. Another one of her contributions was the Oakland Growth Study at the University of Berkeley. This study followed 212 students twice a year from when they were in 5th grade up until they graduated high school. The purpose was to look at factors such as physical abilities, physiological changes, and peer relationships. This study was used as research about child development. Mary Jones was very committed to her research. She died on July 22, 1987, at the age of 90 years old in Santa Barbara, California. Minutes before she died, she said to her sister, I am still learning about what is important in life. Mary Cover Jones, with her brilliant mind, therefore became known as the mother of behavioral therapy.